I hear you, D. I mean, you were just saying always talk to the listing agent. And I get that. I mean, building that rapport is so important. And it's something that I pride myself on. I feel like, you know, as agents, we're really good at building relationships with our clients, but also with the listing agent. But what do you do when the listing agent is just an asshole? Like, honestly, because sometimes, I mean, I know you guys feel me because sometimes listing agents are just straight up assholes and like they just play games. And that's that's what makes it super unfortunate, not only for their client, but for yours as well. And they're not transparent a lot of times. And I found that. I mean, a lot of times agents will be nice. A lot of times agents will be transparent and they will work with you for the greater good. But straight up, like I had an experience at 5800 Florence Terre in Oakland. It was in the Piedmont area and or Montclair Hills, excuse me. And I mean, we went, I'll just tell you guys this. I'll spare the details. We went 975 and this guy ghosted us. I mean, didn't even answer the phone for a week. I thought he had died. Well, come to find out, they just closed on that house at $940,000. So why would we offer nine seventy five dollars and him not take our offer and then go ghost us and not and not have any type of a communication with us and close on that property at 940? I don't know. Chalk it up to the Real Estate Chronicles, honestly, because it's a mystery. But I am like still looking for the dude because I want to sit him down and just have a conversation with him. Like, hey, what happened here? My clients and I really went above and beyond. We really, you know, wanted the property. We were willing to do whatever it takes to get the property. Um, Our offer was obviously higher than the one that you accepted. So what happened there? Did he double end it? I don't know, because it says out of area agent for buyer's agent. So it's just. Sometimes like that, it's an unfortunate situation. And that's, I think, what gives some real estate agents just a bad rap. Like answer your phone, be honest, be transparent, tell people what it is, and let's put a deal together for both of our clients. That's my thinking. And I think other people think that way, but unfortunately they do not. So 